You got a 10 hour flight, you have six old fashions, knock nice. yourself out. Virginia is for grubbers. We are back again with another Old Fashioned Friday. And this week I have a special guest. What's good? Richard. Richard Smith. You might have seen him on one or nine other episodes. I'm around. He's around. <laughs> man texted me today. He was like, hey man, you getting in any uh, Old Fashions? And I said, I actually just purchased these pre-made Old Fashions from the Virginia ABC store. And I was like, what better time than now? Uh -huh. What better place than the newly announced bourbon room, bro? I what know. do you think? Dude, I've worked in so many bars and this looks better than any bar <laughs> I've worked in. I did nothing to this bourbon room except purchase all the bourbon. V, who you might have seen on other episodes, designed the whole thing. She painted everything. She purchased everything. She did everything, which obviously turned out pretty dope. No? Yeah, nuts. So I'm pretty stoked about it. This is our first episode that we've done in the bourbon room. Nonetheless, here we are. Richard Smith, also a mixologist, downtown Leesburg. Also the highest rated old fashioned mixologist we've had to date. And then also I've recently learned he's in a full fledged band <laughs> and a completely different human being when he's in the band. Yeah, uh, it's my two lives. Yeah. My two lives. I did tell you I don't want to hang out with this Richard anymore. The band guy. Yeah, I want yeah, to like. yeah. So maybe tonight you get into the band mode. And yeah, then... band guy's a little bit more nuts. Yeah. Yeah, mixologist guy's a little bit more... Sure. Yeah. Responsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's pound these and then maybe like four other drinks at the pub and then we'll see if we can get band, band yeah, Richard in Bring here. your camera. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. All right. Dash fire, old fashioned, in a can. You guys know how this works. I usually do zero to three on appearance, zero to three on first sip, zero to three on overall taste, and zero through one on overall ambiance. I'm not gonna give Dash Fire an overall ambiance of my own bourbon room, even though it's a full fledged one. You don't get that. <laughs> Pardon the interruption, but during this video, I said that the appearance score was zero through three when it's supposed to be zero through two. Since we said the maximum score was three when it's really two and that's one point off, what we're gonna do is take one point off of what we said in the video. I believe we said two five or two two. So those are gonna turn into one fives, one two. I didn't catch it until I started editing it and that's that, back to the episode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do zero through three on appearance, zero through four on first sip, zero through four on overall taste for a maximum score of 10. So let's jump into the appearance. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about it. Yeah. What do you think? Can's, can's tight. It's yeah. like a little Art Deco vibe. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I like the graphics, looks cool. I was, I mean, I will say it was difficult to see, like in the, they're so little that it's not gonna, just gonna pop out at you when you're in the liquor store, but, and this is a big but, the dopest thing I think they did is they made it just under 3.4 ounces. So this can go, well, six of these can go in your pocket at the airport and you can get on an airplane. You could have six, you got a 10 hour flight, you have six old fashions, knock Nuts. yourself out. Yeah, 38% alcohol, so yeah. shit's kicking. Yeah. This pretty much is the proof of an old fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. What are you thinking? I think, I'll give it like a 2.5. I think that's definitely fair. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's not this pristine, like glass, like dope uh, presentation, but the fact that you can take it on an airplane is huge for me. I'm gonna do the same, ready to get into this first sip. Like backwards peels off. Ah, yeah. interesting. I know. Well, that's throwing me off. Yeah. Okay. That took me a sec. There we go. Here we go. I also upgraded my presentation at home as well. A lot of people were giving me shit. They're like, Jay, you can't be out here criticizing restaurants for their glassware clear ice and you don't have dope glasses and clear ice. So I purchased the same glasses at uh, Sensitai Hats, which are my favorite <laughs> glasses. And I got a clear ice maker from Ross from Sensitai. So we got the clear ice in there. I got some little orange, a little Luxardo cherry. And uh, here we go, first sip, bro. All right, cheers, man. That is not bad. I've done a few of these pre-mades, yeah. and I was even saying to you before we started shooting this, most of them, in my opinion, are too strong. Oh they, yeah, they smack you a little too yeah. hard. There's a little burn there. Yeah, tiny. It, it's it, it's a little hot, but it's like, <laughs> but I mean that that's why you get an old fashioned. You wanted sure. to be spirit forward. You wanted to be a little bitter, a little sweet. Yeah. So, I'm really uh, this. I think this might be close to my favorite pre-made one that I've had because it's not 
super, super strong. Again, there is some, there is a little bit of burn to it, but I anticipated that it was going to taste similar to the other ones that yeah. we've had. Zero through four on mm. first sip. I think that's, that's like an easy 3.2. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go three, five. Again, it, it exceeded my expectations from other ones that mm -hmm. we've had as far as the sweetness, as far as the balance is concerned with the sweetness and how much you're going to get smacked in the face. Yeah. And here we go. We'll get into overall. My Kid Brother is their band. If you yeah. want to follow them. Just did a show in Leesburg, going yeah. on tour on July. Uh, yeah. So it'll be all over the East Coast, North and South, all of July. If you like us, you can check us out on Instagram. Yeah. Highly energetic set, regardless of what kind of music you're into. Like I typically just listen to like hip hop. I went yeah. had a blast. And then... Also, like your fan base, like people were like screaming. Yeah. Like, one guy got thrown out. Yeah. Because he was like trying to level stage 100. dive. Yeah. I was yeah. a fan of that guy, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love him, but. Uh... <laughs> Shout out to that guy. You're watching yeah, yeah, yeah. The front row, they had a shirt off. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, the, the shows get a little hot sometimes, so we got we got a crew that definitely goes shirtless midway through the set. Why not? But What are you going to go to yeah. a show for if you're not going to do that? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I mean, if we, I mean, obviously the consistency is going to be consistent. It's yeah. in a can, you know, <laughs> I have clear ice, so that's, that's going to keep it somewhat yeah. consistent as well. Almost all of these that I've had are just, a, just a little bit, well, I'll say this one is just a little bit too spicy for me. Mm -hmm. The other ones I've had were a lot more spicy for me. But the nice thing that'll come like with a little bit of time is like how like it'll dilute a little bit. Mm. And so... Because, like, normally these kind of, like, canned, pre-made cocktails just come out, like, so fucking hot. Yeah. And so, once it kind of, like, sits with the ice a little bit, yeah. it might kind of, like, balance that out. And that that first sip might not be might not be what it is. It might yeah, be better. Yeah, yeah. It might be worse. Fair. I don't know. <laughs> might be worse. <laughs> yeah, I might hate this later, but... Oh, price point, $5.99. I oh, didn't yeah. include that. I think we did one. We did one on Knob Creek, which, which I liked. It was the only thing I didn't like again was it was a little too strong. It poured like three old fashions. Yeah. You're getting one old fashioned out of this. I yeah. mean, don't get it twisted. It's it's not a weak pour. But yeah. you're getting one and that's it for six dollars. Yeah. yeah, this is I mean this looks this looks super deceiving because it's just like such a tiny can. Yeah. But your average old fashioned yield is gonna be between three and four ounces. Boom. And so if anyone looks at this being like what the fuck is this tiny yeah. little can? This is what you're gonna get. Yeah. Any bar, restaurant you go to. This is about how much. Especially if you drink. guys have the giant clear ice cubes, because mm -hmm. that will elevate the liquid. Yeah. You know, and to make it look like it's a lot bigger than it is, whatever. Yeah. When so. your when your presentation is sponsored by Ross from Sense of Time, <laughs> everything's gonna be fucking Look's sad. <laughs> Ross, you know, I told Ross we're building the bourbon room. You know, I had to do. You know, my presentations yeah, yeah. were really whack, so. Yeah. No, I mean, we love Ross. Yeah, and once you're in the industry for so long, like, there are no secrets. It's yeah. just like, you want to know how we make my ice? Here's a link. Yep. You want to know where I get my glass? Here's a link. Yep. That's exactly what happened. All right, let's just get an overall. Overall, yeah. I like, I don't love, and that, that again, I'm not mm -hmm. saying that as a negative thing. It just didn't blow my socks off. But yeah. I thought it was solid, and a lot, I thought this was a tad more solid than a lot of the other ones that I had that were pre-made. Yeah. Relative to the world of pre-made canned cocktails, I've had a decent amount of them. I've had like all the knob stuff. Yeah. I would say this one does the best job representing the actual cocktail. Boom. Yeah. And this is coming from the guy that makes 900 of them every day. <laughs> you know, so like he's tasting them on a consistent mm -hmm. basis. I'm going to go overall, I think I'm going to go 3.4. I don't know. Yeah. It's around the same. The consistency is the yeah. exact same, but again, it's just a little, it's a tad bit too strong. Yeah. What are you thinking overall? I was going to go at the end 3.5. Boom. I thought it elevated. Woo! I know. Yeah. Once, so, once it diluted a little bit, yeah. she was banging. There you go. So yeah. get yourself a giant clear <laughs> ice cube maker, but, uh, and then if it dilutes a little bit, you can have yourself a bomb dash fire pre-made old fashioned for $6, which... Can't get an old fashioned for six dollars anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, pretty high. Yeah, Dash Fire Virginia ABC stores is where you can purchase them. Yeah. Five ninety nine. Richard Smith. Follow him on Instagram. Big drink guy. I'll put the link up. Virginia's for grubbers. Cheers, bro. Cheers, yo. My guy.